Russia fueling U.S. border problems to distort presidential race in U.S. There is little doubt that the main issue in the presidential campaign in the U.S. this year is immigration, according to Forbes. Current discussions on Capitol Hill are focused on persuading House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring the Senate-approved immigration bill to a vote in the White House or on gaining sufficient support for adopting a discharge petition to circumvent his obstruction. It appears that the discharge petition to sidestep the speaker is the more likely option. In the meantime, the presidential campaign is in full swing and Biden and Trump are racing across the country talking about immigration to garner supporters and votes. Given this delicate situation regarding adopting an immigration solution, it is disheartening to learn that, once again, Russia is trying to meddle in the US presidential election by promoting discord over immigration matters. A recent AP article pointed out, in recent weeks, Russian state media and online accounts tied to the Kremlin have spread and amplified misleading and incendiary content about US immigration and border security. The campaign seems crafted to stoke outrage and polarization before the 2024 election for the White House and experts who study Russian disinformation say Americans can expect more to come as Putin looks to weaken support for Ukraine and cut off a vital supply of aid. The article continued, in social media posts, online videos and stories on websites, these accounts misstate the impact of immigration, highlight stories about crimes committed by immigrants and warn of dire consequences if the US doesn't crack down at its border with Mexico. Many are misleading, filled with cherry-picked data or debunked rumors. Keros, a small, solid-fuel rocket made by Japan's Space One, exploded shortly after its inaugural launch on Wednesday as the firm tried to become the first Japanese company to put a satellite in orbit. Seconds later the solid-fueled rocket exploded in flames, sending smoke billowing into the remote mountainous area, live footage showed. The launch of the first Keros rocket was executed, but we took a measure to abort the flight, Space One said in a statement, adding that details are being investigated, burning debris fell onto the surrounding slopes as sprinklers began spraying water. Hundreds of spectators had gathered at public viewing areas including a nearby waterfront. I had high hopes for this, so I'm disappointed. I want to know what happened, one elderly man told public broadcaster NHK, the plan had been for Kairos, an ancient Greek word meaning the right moment, to put the satellite into orbit about 51 minutes after takeoff. Part shortages and other problems had reportedly led Space One to postpone the launch of Kairos five times. Japan's main space exploration effort is led by the government's NASDA, which stands for the National Space Development Agency of Japan. Four Russian army soldiers have made a video address to Chechen President Ramzan Kadyrov from Belgorod region bordering Ukraine. In the address, the soldiers said that Kadyrovites stayed in the territory of the region for six months and did not do anything useful during their stay, claiming that when it was necessary to fight, Kadyrovites ran away. The Russian servicemen said that Chechen soldiers are called Kadyrov's pigs among local residents, claiming that they are cowards and are only engaged in littering the territory. The soldiers called on Ramzan Kadyrov to keep his promise. They urged the Chechen leader to take your soldiers and leave Russia. А как пришло время работы, так слились нахуй. Вы полгода простояли тут в поле, блядь. 
Рали, срали, спали, рыгали. Вас местные называют чеченские свиньи, потому что живете как в хлеву. Настоящие животные. Кадыров, завали свои ебалами. Если не отвечаешь за свой базар, забирай свои свиней и уебай с России. От... Вы хуже, чем бабы, от баб проку больше. Бля. И да, гуев. Увижу тебя, завалю, пидораса. Клянусь. Спасибо за внимание.